I had a mouse recently, oh boy. You don't even see the mouse at first. That can't be the only one, right? You ever like, like we come down, I see the, I see the little mouse droplings on the kitchen counter. Oh, that right way I'm in denial. I'm looking at my wife, I'm like, did you have a bagel? <laughs> and you know it's not poppy seeds. You know it's not as you're saying it. Like, you think the mice are ever looking through the hole, watching us set up the trap, they're like, Bet they're setting up the trap again. How the hell do they know we're out there? <laughs> the other mouse is like, cause she's shitting everywhere, Phil. This is Christ, why don't you just leave a goddamn map? Is that me? I don't even know I'm doing that. I need one of those things that the horses have in Central Park. <laughs> That's what we do. We set the metal trap. We put a little peanut butter on the end of it. I'm talking 10 days straight. I wake up, peanut butter gone, trap's not snapping. <laughs> so I gotta go to my local hardware store. I go see Tommy with a double E. That's what he tells you when you meet him. He's like, it's Tommy with a double E. <laughs> wasn't gonna send you a Christmas card, but good to know. I told him my situation and he said the trap's not snapping because my mouse was too light. Which was a little hard to understand considering the mouse had gone through a jar and a half of Skippy peanut butter. You would think it would be a little carved up at this point. It must be on a little treadmill in between a sheetrock. Banging out three miles a day. So he says I gotta put down a glue trap. Now, I don't know anyone in this room who's ever used a glue trap to catch a mouse knows these glue traps need to come with a little warning sign that says, are you emotionally prepared to see this through? Do you understand? Like, it needs to come with a diagram on the back showing a mouse wiggling. Because you just don't think about it. I come down the next morning and I see something. I'm like yelling at my wife, it's alive! My wife comes in, we're both looking at it, wiggle, and she's like, oh my God, we have to help it. That's what you say. I go, well, I mean, technically, we're trying to kill it. That's what you mean, right? But help it, you mean kill it quickly? Is that what you mean? And she goes, let's fill up the sink, and then we'll dunk it in the water in the sink. I'm like, you want to waterboard the mouse? <laughs> and she goes, God, the hell with this. And she grabs a knife out of the butcher block. I've been married almost 20 years. The entire time I thought my wife was Polish. In this exact moment, I'm like, oh, this broad is Russian. <laughs> She's been lying, man. <laughs> then she turns the knife to the dull side, presses it against the mouse's neck, and with her free finger, she pets its head <laughs> while she euthanizes the mouse right next to the toast. <laughs> This is more than I signed up for on a Wednesday, man. <laughs> a couple days later, I'm back in the hardware store. I see Tommy with a double E. <laughs> He's like, did you get a mouse? I'm like, eh, we got one. He's like, how do you know there's not more? I'm like, bro, even if there were more, once they all witnessed the execution, <laughs> there's no more mice in Fredonia. 